Mr. Diego. <laughs> Hello, Elijah. Looking very professional. <laughs> the new me. Nice. I like it. <laughs> so how can I help you today, sir? Oh, well, Elijah, I'm uh, just calling because I pretty much have a, a proposal like I wanted to share with you. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, I found it very opportune to me. And I was just writing about it. I'm wondering, how are, how are you? How is everything going for you? Oh, it's, it's fine, as always. Yeah. <laughs> train wreck about to happen but other than that things going well <laughs> let's jump into your proposal what do you got yeah so pretty much what I, i've been seeing elijah is this pattern this pattern that's coming forward very clearly and it's pretty much so i guess i'll just give you yeah the greater insight i was just writing it down right now and so pretty much what I, I've been seeing with the, what, the work that you've been sharing about the values and, and how to achieve our goals and this, what, what I've been seeing is that the work that you're doing to bring it forward to the people, I, I, see, I see it. it's very powerful. Like people, in, I don't know what age group you're aiming for, but people in their 20s like me, I find that many of us, are kind of like in a rut where we don't know how to achieve our goals or what do we truly want in life. And, and I, I feel this might be in many age, age groups too, not only in mine, but uh, yeah, what, what I've been starting to understand is, is pretty much the need that we have this as humans. And then what I've been starting to see is how when we as humans can start sharing our gifts pretty much of what we are creating, of what we're learning, or and we can share them with each other. We can amplify each other's uh, like frequency or way of understanding, pretty much. And I see this is something that we've been doing a lot together since we've been working together and coming together. It just, yeah, it's amplifying. And and what the vision that I started getting is how to express it is pretty much what I. I started seeing is that if I can, uh -huh, I, I want you to, uh -huh, I don't know how to put it. Yeah, I guess so. I want you to help me bring forward this work that I want to do. And at the same time, I want to help you in the work that you're doing. And, and I can see that together we can amplify this. And, and that's the vision that I've been getting. It's like a, a pyramid. And pretty much in the top of the pyramid, there's this greater abundance that pretty much we all have access to at this point. And it's just abundance of, of being well, just completely well in, in our bodies, physically, psychologically, mentally, spiritually. And this is, this is something that I see once there's a top in the pyramid. And then we start sharing this abundance that we have with everybody around us. And then by sharing it with the close relationships, which I see is the pyramid. So it's like the abundance is in the top and right below, I actually drew it. It's yeah. And right below, um, there's pretty much the close relations we have and we share this abundance with them. So we start exchanging this abundance. And then just by doing that, it starts amplifying and we start, how can I express it? We start growing more as people because we're giving our gifts that are coming forward. And uh, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, that's in the journey I'm, I'm on and I'm starting to see that we could do something like this together in the sense that I see that your gifts pretty much are, are coming forward. And the more I'm understanding the maps and how they work, I'm pretty captivated by them and I'm like, okay, I see the patterns and I'm starting to see them more and more in dreams and how values can truly help people achieve their goals. And it's just very clear, I, I see the pattern now. And, and what I'm seeing is that if, if they're used properly and, and created in a model of, it's like, hey, we can share them with each other and then we're helping each other empower, we're empowering each other pretty much. And by doing that, we get these tools 
that that we can use to communicate and and i'm just yeah i'm i'm just uh captivated by the work as i guess and i just would like to keep collaborating with you in that way because i'm starting to see it come forward in my life and how i can apply it and then yeah i see you okay i'm just curious about the abundance at the top of the pyramid yeah uh because it, it can be a bit of an abstract word to some mm -hmm. people, we have all this abundance, but what does that actually mean? Like, is it abundance of time, an abundance of money, an abundance of knowledge, an abundance of land, of seeds, of people? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Well, I mean, as I was understanding it, it was pretty much what, when I'm getting involved with community, working with people, with groups of people, and I'm living in a collective house right now, in a community house. And I'm also with Suk going to visit them. In, mm -hmm. And I can just see that to, to truly rise together in, in community, we need to share our gifts. And, and that's what I see as abundance. For example, for me right now, I'm in this point in my life where abund in terms of abundance, I have everything. I, I have like a, a home where I can live, where I feel super well. I have all the food that I need. And then be, besides covering those needs that I, I need like shelter, food and like good quality of life, then I see that then there's this other aspect of abundance, which is more the, the, the need to connect, to have community, to share, to, to grow, to, to be one pretty much as humans, not separated. And when this is lacking, I feel that there's a lack of abundance right away. It's like there's a fracture in our wholeness of being because even though we can have everything that we think we need to live, even if it's like a high standard of living, if, if there's these connections lacking with other people, with community, with, with, with being able to reciprocate with others. And, and this is, yeah, this is what I feel uh, is so essential to have. And once I have this in my life, when I'm discovering to to share it and to pass it along pretty much because something that I've been working a lot with is in the field of um, helping people connect with nature. And I've been doing that myself as well. And just coming back to nature, it's as if it's this huge reminder of, of what is abundance. Nature is abundance. Life is in this constant blooming. And, and to be able to understand that again and, and to be part of it and feel that we belong at, at that place and then to be able to share it with other people in community i feel that's when when the abundance is blooming to his, to the fullest and i feel that land itself it's everywhere we can go to land and connect with it it's accessible to everybody so yeah in a sense it is this kind of abundance i'm seeing in this in this level so, <laughs> so how does this translate let's say into business terms mm -hmm. okay yeah so that's that's when I I truly mm -hmm, this is what I, I I would like to still come through because the way I see it right now it's pretty much as basic as bringing a group of people together and th this is yeah I'm pretty much going into nature so going to a park per se where there's forests where there's trees where there's birds and then just allowing a space where people can connect, feel held and pretty much share and then lead them through an experience of, of feeling welcomed in the land of feeling like they can just be because I find that we can be carrying so many things within our daily lives. And we need a place where we can clear when we can clear all of that. And many people go to the gym or go to take a, a class, yoga class or something like this, just to have that break. Mm. So let me ask you something. Do you remember what our last next step was? Uh, yeah, I think I think so. What what was it again? Was it creating well, like a? Well, it was very similar to this. But then what I asked you to do is come up with a specific formula okay. in terms of time and money and charging, and come up with a basic business model for what you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I've I've been uh yeah I've been working with that, but I've been feeling when you're mentioning it so clearly it's like wow of course okay i see it and it's so interesting elijah is like it's so simple to get there when i see it the way 
<laughs> but but then it's like I miss it. I I, I miss the way. It's as if uh, <laughs> I I need some a leader, somebody to lead me in that way. <laughs> well, I guess this, because yeah. you know it. A lot of the languaging can be very enthusiastic and it can be very inspiring. But at some point, you have to get down to the brass tacks of the design of your own business model. And I think that maybe that's what we can do a bit right now in terms of looking at how to design what you want to create. Because if you're bringing a group of people, 20 people into the forest every week and charge them $20 mm -hmm. and uh, it doesn't include lunch and they go for two hours and you're the main facilitator, you hire an assistant to do it with you and you know, they get on the bus somehow and they, they go you know, wherever you go, take them back. You know, that's a specific part of your business that you're going, okay, well, I'm taking people once a week and it's Fridays and it's three to five and they're children. And, you know, I'm starting with these people here and then I'm going to build it every week. And I need like a business card and I need a website. And I need a promo vid video and I need a, a one pager to give people basics, right? Mm -hmm. uh, here's the business. Here's what it costs. Here's the people. And here's how I'm going to get the people. So if you don't have that, you're still in the world of ideas and it still sounds good. And a lot of things you may be doing, maybe just be for service, but it isn't going to translate into you specifically on your own doing a business. Now that's you on your own doing the business. Now, if you said, well, Hey, Elijah, I'd like to do synergizers and I want to sell the cards and I want to teach the, the, car, the you know, the, the things I'm putting forward that you've done with me, I, I would like to do with other people. Mm -hmm. Now that's another kind of side thing that's different, but can be part of this. But I think part of what we want to do or what you want to do is you want to design your ideal job. You want to design specifically what you want to do. And then you can see how the tools can help you. And then you can see, you know, if they're, you know, if you want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's it. I do, I do want to design that. And at the same time, when I'm, yeah, when I'm talking with you, I'm, I'm just, uh, yeah, it's so cool to have an anchor pretty much to, to try to bring something forward because I can have lots of clarity on many aspects, but yeah, I do see that pretty much. And, and that's when I feel this split too, where I, I see this aspect of going to nature and bringing people to nature and, and, and creating this, uh, this movement in that direction and bringing different people that like that field that can educate others like ecologists or environmentalists and, and talk about the plants and bring awareness to the ecosystem and and th this is a part that has been present in my heart and I do want to bring forward and do it with a group of people and another part that I it's very present with me is the work with communities too this is something that I've been seeing it's so needed and I see that your work has lots of tools to do this so pretty much the tools for facilitation, for for understanding how to work in synergy and how to work as an individual and then how to work as a whole. Like that that understanding, I've been working with that model with your teachings and then also I've been working with this other education that is being passed on to me that is based on a model on how to create a village as they, they were before in, in ancient cultures. and and to understand how we can weave relationships so that we can grow pretty much as people, as individuals. And I see that your work is very close to this because you're showing us how we can work as individuals, how to understand our personal values, our goals, and then, and then how we can come together as groups and then line up and, and amplify, yeah, and, and grow as, as a community. And, and this is, transformation like this transformation that i see is uh yeah it, it, it kind of amazes me like i see this pattern and i don't know if you see it on the work that you're doing for well i mean it i mean you to me you're at the ground floor like you're you need training as a facilitator uh so you need training in the tools and then you need to have real life experiences that you're passionate about to use the tools and to see you know, what can you do with groups of people? What can you do with communities? Because, I mean, just like you see with your own, uh, with music, right? I mean, if, if you're 
entering a leadership role and you're bringing people together, it's your initiative and it's your vision that they're coming into to participate in with, right? So as a facilitator, if you can take a group of people from A to B Mm -hmm. and every time recreate that same process of adding value to their lives, you will be paid, right? You get the reputation of being a facilitator. Beautiful, yeah, yeah. So to me, to to get to the point, like I ran a painting business and to get to the point where I could say, hey, you know, you could go be a painter, go be a painter. And you're going, okay, well, I can paint, but how do I get my business? What do I do when this goes wrong? And and so you need a bit of mentorship or coaching to get to the place where your business is running the way, you know, as a professional facilitator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's so clear. Thank you. Like, I I see it. Yeah, I see the vision you share with me. So, I mean, what we could do is um, we can continue the training as a team. We could do one on one coaching. Uh, You might bring in some other people uh, to do some team coaching in a different way. Mm -hmm. You're, I don't know, uh-huh. We were at with Serena, Jorge, and Melissa, but because of the baby and because of just life changes, you may not be going the same path. I don't know. I haven't heard from you guys, so I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's been quite the journey. I mean, they're they're in their path, and we we are together. But what I'm seeing here, in a way, uh, in, in yeah, like in relation, but also independently for my own being on how to be of support. What I'm seeing a lot coming forward is um, like like the, the maps that you've been sharing, for example, the values. I started to see how uh, I, I saw this in a dream, actually, like it was so interesting. I saw this pyramid again and I was being taught about the values and I was being shown how when an individual can place his individual values and find them, truly resonate with them and just put them in this container, like in a little pyramid and write them down it was pretty much showing me if I can share that to other people, they will be empowered again. They will know. Uh And it was just like this insight. Now, like, wait a second, this is what Elijah was teaching us. And it's almost (laughs) as if, (laughs) yeah, I can, I can share this with other people and teach it as well. But uh, yeah, I'm just opening to that possibility and, and how that would work. And that's something that I'm thinking about as well, teaching online because yeah, with music too. I, I mean, it's it's a whole part, but I'm starting to see like that aspect of being to help people one-on-one and have that personal, well, that container to share. It's so it's so powerful to to uplift that. And I do see people that 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 do want this and, and want this growth or and yeah, I, I love this work to work with other people and even to have a one-on-one and go for a walk in nature as well. And I love that to be the space where they can open up and, and reflect with their visions, their ideas, where they're at in life. Do you have and, a business card? Uh, no, no. And I've been asked for it a few times. What's that? Yeah, I don't have one. I don't have one. Okay, do you got a phone, got a phone number? Yeah. Do you got the name of your business? Um, so <laughs> I do and I don't. So this isn't another <laughs> challenging part because I, I pretty much, I, I started developing the business and the website and I was going for the name Culture Caravan, which is this bigger picture, which is more, I feel, bringing groups of people and into nature and, and doing different activities in, in that side of, of connection. But then I also had this one, which was uh, called Mentor of Nature, which I thought, okay, I could do that more as, one-on-one like if I do bring people into nature <laughs> yeah but then okay. that's so what say, I culture caravan and mentor of nature but you're not uh-huh. sure which one mm-hmm. yeah because then there's the aspect of music as well and if I do music events I see okay that could fit into culture caravan I could have like a, a music circle or, or then even to collaborate because yeah doing the work as a facilitator when you're expressing it that clearly to me that's yeah that's that's something that truly calls me and i feel i'm I'm growing a lot in that ambit like i'm doing this with kids already 
twice a week, we take them to nature and we're there the whole day and we have a whole structure on how to move pretty much this flow that you're saying of recreating an experience where they can find connection with each other and the land and learn at the same time. And it's amazing to see it work and how I see, okay, this is, this is how it works. This is how the flow can be done and to be able to replicate it pretty much. That's what I see the potential I have to share. Oh, that, are you doing that with Serena? Yeah, with Serena, yeah, and other now, mentors. Now with Culture Caravan, is that you and Serena or is that just you and? Uh, so with the Culture Caravan, originally we started Jorge, Serena and I. And at this point, they're pretty much in their own journeys right now. Like they're still in, engaged on it, but they're not putting any energy into it pretty much at this point. They okay. would be, yeah. So at this point, I'm pretty much just just cre creating, creating, creating. Okay. Because um, I like, I like Culture Caravan. I mean, why don't, yeah. why, why don't you make a business card? Can you make your own business card? Um, how, I have to learn how. Do you use Illustrator? Do you use any like um, graphics program? Mm, no. Um, okay. I'll make you a card. Oh, really? What's your uh, phone number? Uh, my phone number is 778-587-3384. Okay, and what's your email? It's, uh, okay, so that's what I'm wondering too. Should I have an email for Culture Caravan? Yeah, but I use the same one as your own one. I mean, if you have a whole bunch of business ones, I don't know about you, but it, I just like having one, you know, that. Yeah. Okay, do you use your personal email for your email? Your email? Well, you can. I mean, it. I don't think it means that much of a difference. But um, what's your what's your email for now? Yeah, it's Diego Fabian, which would be F A B I A N. Yeah. One two three at gmail dot com. Okay. And um, do you have like an idea for a, a logo? A logo? Uh, I was thinking on it about it. It's not super clear at this point, but yeah, it's not, I, I don't know. I don't know at this point. So sim do you have uh, like, what symbol comes to mind that you w would like to use? Hmm. I, I have like this symbol of like, a, like literally like a, a caravan like of, of cars, like, do, 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 like following sure. each other and going to different <laughs> places. <laughs> okay. Experiences. Okay. I'll see. Um, Cause I mean, you can, and you said you have a website already. Yeah. So I'm in the process pretty much in the midst of creating a website right now. It's been a big challenge for me. I've been working on it last month or two or three and it's coming together. And I, I'm starting to see the pieces come together, but I do see, I have a friend that also designs websites and I do see that, yeah, it's, it's still, it's, it's like, a, it's one of those things that it's just, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Okay, can you send it to me? The website? Yeah. Okay. I, I feel a bit shy about it, but I could share it with you. <laughs> uh, what's, what's the URL for the website? The URL? So it's, um, I... It's culturecaravan.ca. Okay. And what what program are you using to make it? I'm using WordPress.com. Okay. Um, last the last piece, Elijah. Um, I don't know if yeah we can fit it into. What's that? But it's pretty much uh, regarding my music business. This is another part that I've been working with and, and what I'm seeing right now as I'm creating more music and sharing it with people, it's becoming very clear that I need a portal to share it with people and, and pretty much I'm starting to create all of these songs. I'm starting to write, write a lot. And I'm also starting to have all of these adventures that I wanna share that I've been traveling and going to places. So uh, what I'm seeing is that I want a place where I can project this to people and share it and i see that the website will be a great space for this but um 
yeah i feel I, i'm i'm learning yeah i'm learning to do it because i'm like okay i'm trying to cover a lot but it's yeah uh -huh. i wonder no well this you just got to get exact and what's hard is on your own to to sort of see the critical path of all the pieces that you need mm -hmm. and so that's that's what i'll help you with i'm going to help you to focus and to get things done that need to get done yeah okay right? because it's kind of like again as you saw as you saw we left you at the next step and it didn't get done and i find that with people that's where i go to the next step and then stop depending on their initiative or depending upon what kind of agreement we have like if i'm your coach i'm going to be quite a bit different than yeah than uh, if we're just hanging out together right i mean it's it's like uh -huh. you'll be paying me to get your business going yeah and then however i am with you you're going to be with other people because you're going to be coaching them facilitating so mm -hmm. it's it's like you know there's quite a strong connection that has to happen between us for you to really absorb you know what i've been creating for 25 years and if you mm -hmm. if you really want to learn it you know it's that's what it takes it takes commitment and it takes initiative mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and i i do feel i have this and and to yeah to to yeah yeah to do it and so one of the first courses my main course is going to be designing your ideal job so what i'll do is i'll help you to design your ideal job and utilize you know what i'm working on right now and then you in your own way can market the course and participate perhaps as a facilitator once you've done it for for yourself then you can help others to do it right because essentially everyone needs to design their ideal job everyone needs to have some sort of reference point of going you know if I could do anything, what would I do? And if you if you have that always as an aim for somebody who's in their 20s who has no idea what to do, yes. and you help them to find out how to do it, it's, it's like tickety boo. It's it's you go through a process, and at the end of it, you have it. Uh huh. Yeah, and and that's I I see that that's so needed in our times. And and when I'm talking with you, I truly my my goal, if any, when I I'm reaching out to you, it's it's to develop this for myself but also allow you yeah to, to support me and, and allow to see okay how how can we work together to to bring it bring it forward and understand how this works because yeah being a coach i find it's it's something that's so powerful and and to be able to transmit that to other people that, that's pretty much when i was landing Mm -hmm. seeing the, the vision of, of what I want to bring forward it's it's pretty much that is 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 being a mentor for for people to to truly be able to empower themselves and find their gifts and their passions and move forward because many times in life maybe you do have to work in a shitty job or you do have to cope with these things but to find a space where wait a second you can also have your creative space where you can actually do something more than than what you have to and and it's just giving people that space to to grow to grow and and to truly find that and for me i'm at that place where okay i have all this space and i've been growing with my creativity all of these months and, and it's just like it's huge now and i'm like okay maybe i do have to ground a little bit and i find that balance well definitely i mean we did a lot of work earlier in the year and it takes time to kind of go through and now it sounds like you're ready to go back in again so um, okay, so let's, I'll make you a business card and then I'm going to give you a bit of homework here to do. Okay. Okay. You want to write this down? Yeah, we'll take some notes. Okay. So I want you to, um, on your own design three programs that you would like to incorporate in your business. And I want you to get as specific as possible in terms of, you know, this is a seven week program. It's for teenagers. It's to learn nature and to learn your values. And then the next course may be for organizations. I go into one organization and I'm going to do it for five weeks and I'm going to teach them how to do their goals and values. And then number three. Um, I got the first one. So design the three programs that you would like to incorporate into your business. This is how I got yeah. it so far. Yeah. Okay. So number two is uh, I want a year goal in each of the five spaces. Um, 
I, I yeah. so do you know five spaces, the personal space, one on one space, group space, community space, sacred space, mm. right? Yeah, I, I just I, I lost track. I just that thought came into my mind and I, I wanted to share it with you. Um, so I was thinking, yeah, when, when you're sharing with me to design the programs that I want to incorporate to my business, it's very exciting. And at the same time, um, I, I, I truly want to be this, this person. I want to be completely transparent with you. So you can truly, like, that, that this is my goal to, to help you pretty much, boom, have this amazing, like by, by sharing my being, allow you to, your work to come forward fully. Yeah. And something that I'm learning about right here, which I do want to create a business and it's a big passion of mine. And at the same time, I, I see this whole other aspect of myself of being an artist and just truly wanting to create and have a, how, how could I express it? It's like to, to truly understand how, how to catch into a rhythm. And I think you shared the map with me that you used the Enneagram and you showed like the creative process on, on how to tap into that and bring it forward. Mm -hmm. So I guess just what I'm seeing or maybe the idea I'm, I'm getting is that at one point, this work that you're doing as a course for creating business, even I don't know if I will be doing this at one point, but to help people develop their creative path. So if they want to be an artist and they want to create art or music to be able to help that people to, to achieve that, like, okay, what are your values or what's your passion? What are your resources? And to be able to move them into that space of creativity yeah it's it's something that it just like came forward with me so i don't know if one of the things that i would could be yes yeah, so that sounds like one of the programs okay so that would be one of the programs of the three of the three yeah. you're talking about amazing okay that's awesome so, okay so then i'll call it uh, like creative okay i'll just write more about it okay and then uh, a one-year goal in each of the five com communication spaces. Okay, so a one year goal in what, in, in, in one of? In each one of the five communication spaces. So one year goal in your personal space, one year goal in your one-on-one -on -one space, one year goal in your group space, in your community space and sacred space. Okay. So that's something I, I saw as well, Elijah, when we're talking, it's it's so cool that I see you, you're almost like a life coach because you know, when the, all the spaces are present, it's like, wow, it's truly my personal space. But then when I'm interacting with people and when I'm in my sacred space too, and and to see that, that truly being appreciated, I really like that aspect of mm. having somebody to work like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to, to okay awesome yeah and that's what's calling my attention to to do so it's so cool to see you doing it okay so then that would be the design the three programs and then one year goal in each of your in my communication spaces yeah and I think that's that's a good start okay mm. so by next Friday you want to meet again Friday mm -hmm. yeah and I'm thinking for the the goals as well for the one year i'm thinking for the monthly basis like for example right now you brought me a lot of clarity i think you, you point like in somewhere that i was super stuck and i didn't even see it clearly i think it was in the aspect of the business that you were like with the task that you left me to do which was uh to design the programs it was the same thing Mm, to start the progress. Oh, okay, so this is pretty much nice. What we're you're just going back to the beginning. Slide two again. Awesome. Yes. Essentially, what you're doing is, I mean, you've got the enthusiasm, you've got the initiative, but you don't have the structure. And sometimes it can take years. It can take a long time to develop your structure. And that's my expertise, right, is designing structures. So we're going to yeah. get on paper everything that is going to run your business as an ideal and then look to move it into the real world. Okay. Okay. So you've got the pieces. I mean, I, I think you, you're going to yeah. be a great facilitator, and yeah. and you're you're taking the right step right now. Amazing. Yeah. Well, it's it's good to hear because yeah, this is the work I want to be doing, and and when you help me visualize it, I do see that having that vision to the year year goal. It's 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 very helpful. Mm. And I, you know, and as you get the tools, there's a bunch of other tools, right? That I'm going to 
tap you into. And then at some point, these same tools, other people can use. So you can coach them using the tools, right? So mm -hmm. essentially, I want to empower you with what I've created. And it's come through me and uh, incorporate that with other tools that are out there and get you going. There's a, okay, there's a book I want you to get. Yeah. There's a, there's a book called The E-Myth. The E-Myth? Yeah. How e the e myth the e like big e hmm. myth m y t h huh? yeah by Michael Gerber. Hmm. Burger Burger Gerber G E R B E R G E R B E R Gerber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is. Something I've struggled a lot as well, Elijah, like with, uh, yeah, pretty much with, with books. Like I truly want to read more books and I have a fair amount of books that I'm still trying to go through and I'm just trying to figure out how to go through all of them. It's a okay, well, what I'll do is I'll, I, I'm going to accelerate you through some very good books. Forget about all your other books right now and just follow what I'm going to tell you to do. Okay. Like, like, and because, like I had a teacher and he, I, I want to learn astrology and he gave me one of the toughest astrology books and he said, start here. It didn't teach me anything. Just gave me one of the most difficult books to read, but everything that he gave me to read, I read anything he said to do, I did. And if you want to really accelerate, that's got to be your attitude. Mm, I see. Yeah. It's like the books I'm going to give you, they're like cornerstones and you read them and boom, you're going to, each book is going to build upon the others and, and build with everything else that we're doing. So I see. again, yeah. you want to learn, you know, I'll, I'll push you, but you got to pay attention mm -hmm. for certain. Okay. And, uh, I, for the rates or the, mm -hmm, what, what is it? Do you want to send it to me or say that again? I have for, for pretty much the, the exchange that we're going to be doing for for the offer the service you're offering right mm -hmm. what am i charging you uh -huh, yeah is it going to be free or is there a charge like a... oh no it's not going to be free yeah okay there you go yeah i mean so, you know i charge a hundred dollars an hour but i'm going to teach you how to make a hundred an hour okay i see so that be for like in the one-on-one -on -one, like individual yeah one-on-one -on -one, it's a hundred an hour if you have three others with you it's 25 an hour you got mm -hmm. 10 people, it's 10 bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's pretty expensive, a hundred dollars for one person. Do you want to make a hundred an hour? Well, I mean I'm just I saying, do you want to learn how to make a hundred an hour? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it'd be it'd be it'd be cool, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's like <laughs> it kind of like blows. Could you off. could you afford two hundred dollars a month? Two hundred dollars a month. I think so. So if we meet every two weeks for one hour. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, something like I mean, that. people like me charge 500, 600, 700, 1,000. I mean, 100 is nothing for a guy who's designed what I've got. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I see. I see. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Then we can do it by weekly, I think that. Because, yeah, to, to split it that way. And I can focus on the perspective, the clarity that you brought into it i mean yeah weekly would be amazing i mean if all of a sudden you start making a lot more money and you can afford it then fine like i want you to make money right it's my job for you to get your business going so yeah yeah they see okay cool yeah it's good to see to see uh -huh. yeah cool yeah good to know good to know and i'll be aware of that because i do want to learn and it's like to move forward and this vision, Elijah, yeah, it's, it's cool to be able to share it. And I see it clearly. So it's great, as you mentioned, you see the pieces that are missing for me to get there and what's lacking. So it's good to have this. Well, November, like um, 30th, 6th, November 13th. November 13th. Uh, okay, next Friday. Yeah. Two Fridays from now. Okay, and it would be at, at, at noon again at twelve thirty. Yeah, let's let's do twelve thirty to one thirty. Okay, November thirteenth. Yeah.
And then, I mean, we'll, uh, I'll reconnect you into Facebook and we can connect through Facebook if you got questions um, as you go. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. And I mean, one of my goals here as well to, to pass on or share with you, which I, I truly, I, I feel still in that space. It's, it's pretty much what, what you're sharing with me right now, how you're telling me that you have all of this work that you want to pass on and, and give forward and, and pretty much share it with me. And I truly appreciate it. And at the same time, that's what I'm seeing too, that if we can learn how to exchange our gifts, well, yeah, with other people and, and, and then we give them to them and it's great value. So then effectively, once the other people are like, oh yeah, this is great value. I need this too. And then they're gonna do an exchange. Mm -hmm. I, I guess in my ideal world, what I was envisioning was that we can exchange our, our gifts. So I almost, I, yeah, wow. And it's so interesting. I almost want you to, to move forward too and to be able to to develop your program and what you are creating and even support you in that and even at one point co-create with you or just allow it to move forward and maybe the yeah what, what would be the best way for me to support you in that would that be well probably as i get the course going maybe you could sell the course um you could promote the course of what i want to create and get a percentage of the sales because I mean, I see like hundreds of thousands of people taking this course. Mm, I see. So, I mean, I'm aiming for big numbers and sort of like large, large numbers, right? So, uh -huh. um, if you want to participate in that, then that's that's fine. I, I mean, I, I'm going to have different people who are in the program in different ways, and the people who learn first, obviously, are going to be the people who you know get the positions down the road, connected to this. So, I mean, you know, to me, there's just endless teaching, right? There's just like, yeah, this is a whole system. And if you learn the pieces, then you can teach to larger and larger audiences in whatever manner that you want, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, to originate it. Yeah, that's great. And to have a mo model to move it forward, I think that's so helpful because sometimes we have the teachings where we're like, okay, I'm ready to share them. And how do I do that? And to be a facilitator, and that's a whole. Hey, which which one of the Mayan calendar dream spells are you? um i think we we went through them at one point it was something like a dog you were a white dog mm -hmm, i think so a white dog yeah yeah that's as far as i remember okay double check it and send it to you okay give me a link um i'll give you the link right now Yeah, and that's that's another thing too that I'm finding super interesting in these times we're living, like um, economically wise, like being sustainable and creating something that I'm passionate about that can sustain me and, and just having a fulfillment of of like feeling well and having everything, I, how can I explain it? Like when we have enough abundance, it's as if we can overflow to other people and it's just amazing to start to see, to see, that that's possible and just to how to sustain it how to sustain it so you can carry on well you need consistent cyclical action and design mm, wow those are the key words consistent cyclical action and, and design with design and action so cool. it's like if you know that once a month you're doing a workshop and you're doing a community event and it's on the third friday of every mm -hmm. month yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's, it's, you want to build, when you're looking at these programs, look at something that's going to be reciprocal. <coughs> look at something that's going to be act, acting like, look at your whole year and look at, you know, what, where do you want to teach where? What do you want to facilitate where? Like, really sit down and put a design down. We'll take a look at it, whatever you got. But I mean, mm -hmm. take some time mm -hmm. to uh, design which means sitting down, math, piece of paper, white paper, and just write and math and figure things out for yourself. This is amazing, Elijah. This is amazing. It's like, uh, it's like the missing piece. Well, and, and to be accountable, right? I mean, you're, you're going to bring me something and I'm going to give you feedback and I'm going to give you, you know, how to 
polish the edges or how to, you know, make it mathematically sound, how to make it so that others can participate with you, you know, in a, in a really clean business manner, right? Because again, if you make $70 and there's five people there, you know, it's, it's more of a service thing. But if, if you make 200 and someone else makes 50, but you agreed upon ahead of time, you know, that's business, right? Yeah, so, totally. So it's, it's to understand the money, to understand, you know, what you're responsible for and um, how to make it honorable to keep it going so you have a good reputation. Yeah, totally. Okay, big, big work. Maybe. And so can you also, what were your five, what were your five values for your five spaces? Mm -hmm. So yeah, at this point, I, I don't have them. I, you don't have them. What do you mean? We did that. Yeah. I mean, we did them as a group. You, you know, but didn't you do your own personal values like, in the five spaces? Yeah. Yeah. I think I did. I did at one point. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, they were like uh, based on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so find them and send them to me. I can. Okay, find my five uh, values, my yeah. individual values. Yeah, the one like, what's your value for the personal space, the one-on-one -on -one space? Because the thing is, there, there's there's work that I have to do, like this business card, which I know you're you're not going to pay me or you can't afford to pay me. But that's when we're going to start to look at exchange of, of looking at maybe you can find me some clients. You know, maybe, you know, the work that I do that's on top, I'm going to tell you. And then you can look for ways to, to find ways to help me out, right? Yeah, for sure. And yeah. probably the easiest way is to find me clients. Cool. Find, find people who you think, you know, he can uh, help them and I'm going to send cool. you his way kind of thing. It's nice. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I can share them my experience of what I'm going through. Like, oh yeah, okay, this is fitting all these pieces. And like, oh, perfect. I mean, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, that would help the most. And then like, because if I got to make you some maps and business cards and other things, you know, that takes time and um, business is about money and time, right? Yeah, doing it an exchange. Yeah, okay, perfect. So I'll find the values for the communication spaces. And yeah, I think that, that, that would be it. That would, okay, bring me Sorry. a lot of focus. Uh -huh. And yeah, that's great. Everything we talked about, I, it really resonates with my great vision because yeah, I can, I can see like once I have this goal, like the yearly goal or the lifetime cycle goal and what I'm living through, it's very clear what I have to move through. And, and even if that includes like at one point, enrolling in different programs or trainings or or then creating something with what i'm learning to integrate it and to move forward and mm -hmm. yeah okay amazing because I, I yeah okay it's great i have the plan to uh at one point i want to do a summer camp for kids and and this is going to be for the summer next year and it's going to be in alberta and i was talking with an elder i went to see in the first nations reserve which is a friend of mine and they pretty much have this land all of this land and the kids and and they want to to help them reawaken their connection to the land and to their culture again and bring this forward so it's just great to see how i can start creating these models and the programs that you're already helping me envision and once i can do them in small scale i will be able to make them in a larger scale and yeah collaborate with other people organizations and Okay. Excellent. Good Amazing. to hear from you. Um, yeah. I'm excited to see what comes from this. And uh, yeah. we'll reconnect our Facebook friendship. Yeah, nice, for sure. Yeah. And uh, we shall go from there. Okay. Okay. Sounds good, Elijah. All right. See you, sir. Professional. Okay.